the equation that we have now is negative 8x minus 4y equals 12. Now, the difference with the one that we did before is that now we have a negative coefficient. But at the end, we have our same purpose, which would be isolate y also for y. So we are going to start by establishing our goal, which will be isolating y. And we're going to start canceling. As soon as I do this, I notice that I have a couple of things that I need to cancel. I need to cancel negative 8x, not negative 8, all of it together, negative 8x and a negative 4. The negative 4 is the coefficient of the variable, in this case y, that I want to isolate, so that one we will leave for last. So I need to start by canceling negative 8x. So again, we don't want to cancel only the 8, so we're not going to divide. What we are going to do is do the opposite of all of this together, negative 8x, which would be positive 8x. Now remember what we did to one side, we do to the other. So I'm going to write exactly the same on this side. And what would happen now is that the 8x is going to cancel. What do we have left? Negative 4y equals this to our unlike terms. When it's a number, another one, it's term with the variable x. So we cannot combine them. All that we're going to do is write them next to each other. 8x plus 12. Remember, our 12 was positive since the beginning. Now what I need to cancel only is my negative 4. Now, let's think about what is this negative 4. It is not subtracting. The negative 4, it is the coefficient for that matter. Then the negative 4 is multiplying the y. So if you want to cancel it, you have to do the opposite of multiplication, which would be division. Now, when I'm, I'm dividing, don't forget, I have a negative 4 multiplied. I will have to divide by a negative 4. So, once that I do that, remember what we did to one side, we do to the other. Don't forget that each one of your terms on the other side will have to be divided by negative 4 in this case. After we do that, now we know that our fours are going to be canceled on this side. And on this side, all that we have is pretty much division. So now, don't forget your signs. Positive divided by a negative, negative. 8 divided by 4, 2, and we just drop the x. Then we have a positive divided by a negative, negative. 12 divided by 4, 3. And this right here will be our answer to isolate y.